Local author Bob McKenzie is with us today to talk about his new book, Ghost Shadow. It is available at Amazon.com and at Novel Idea, and soon will be available at the uh, local Chapters Indigo locations. And I'm so excited to talk to you about this because I was, I've been carrying this book around because uh, you dropped it off here a little while ago. Thank you very much for that. I've been carrying it around, and everyone who's seen it is like, oh my goodness, what book are you reading? Because it is such a haunting image uh, on the cover of your book, and, um, and some really interesting stuff in here. So I wonder, first of all, if you could tell me just kind of like the plot idea behind this book. Uh, well, the plot, plot is pretty straightforward at surface. It's essentially a, a crime drama. Uh, Windsor University professor and, and a team of his graduate students have gone on um, an unauthorized expedition to China and stolen a couple of million dollars worth of artifacts. And they're back in Windsor and they're being chased by two segments of Chinese organized crime plus a group of Vietnamese gangs that are supporting one of those segments. And, and so things get a little bit crazy. Meanwhile, the professor's daughter has apparently, we're not sure about it, been kidnapped and so the professor's wife hires a private detective to try and find her daughter and the private detective is the central character of, of this series of books. And that's uh, Paige Turner. Yes. Great name for a mystery uh, novel uh, main character as well. How did you come up with that? It seemed appropriate. <laughs> and, and it is a Paige Turner too, as, as any good mystery should be as well. So lots of layers into this story. And, and how did you decide to involve these gangs? It must have taken quite a bit of research to, uh, to, to look into the gangs from uh, China and Vietnam. It did and it didn't, uh, partially because I had done some reading in these areas, but at the time, I'm, I proofread papers for graduate students, um, masters, theses, and, and doctoral dissertations, and I had a Chinese student who had done a, a thesis on Ghost Shadow, which is one of the Chinese criminal organizations. Oh, interesting. And so I got a lot of in-depth information about them, and from there, I, I actually did mostly internet searches and library searches of newspapers and things to find out more about how these gangs are operating in North America. So how did the idea for the book come together? Because um, it sounds like your inspiration comes from all sorts of places. A little bit of information from, uh, from a paper and... Yeah, it does. I. Uh, not from my personal experience, but from close to me, became uh, very aware of post-traumatic stress disorder mm -hmm. and the very traumatic effects of various types of abuse, including familial abuse and childhood abuse, and and uh, repressed memory and the way that things can be buried because they're so terrible and then come back to you years later. Hmm. and. And I also wanted to write uh, a crime fiction story, but I really didn't think I'd be very good at writing a mystery because I, <laughs> I, I get bored with it. I keep wanting to give away the end. <laughs> and, and so I, I felt that all of these elements together would make a very strong story. So um, Paige and Mrs. Markham, the professor's wife, and her daughter Susan all have issues of, of these psychological problems mm -hmm. uh, that are because of the traumatic events in the book that happen to and around them are brought out. They, they have the flashbacks and the memories and, and they have to get through not just the events external to themselves but the events internal and the events of the past. So, so I felt this would be a very powerful story. And tell me about the image too that's on the cover of this novel. Um, you said there's a story that goes behind this. Oh, this is a lovely girl. I was actually thinking of a cover, you know the 30s dime novels with the action scene and, yes, and the guy yes. with the gun and, and the blonde <laughs> with the breasts hanging out and I, I was thinking because it's kind of like a dime novel of that. So I went to Fotolio.com which is a photo site I, I am a member of on the, online which has thousands of images and I was looking through for something that might be suitable and I hit that image of, of this lovely young girl and, and just stopped and because that not the crime aspects but the other aspects I mentioned she just totally shows that because here she is sort of folded up and 
not sure what's going on. Mm -hmm. So so I bought the rights to that, and and the photo was actually taken by a photographer in Russia. Hmm. So so it's come to me from a long ways away. That's terrific, and from a long ways away on the cover to a uh, to a local author that's bringing this book to uh, to local stores, Novel Idea, Amazon.com. You could also pick it up at Chapters at Indigo coming soon. Thanks so much for talking to us, Bob, and best of luck with your new novel. All right, thank you, Melissa.